Hello Super User, today we're going to learn a simple trick that will both drastically speed up the time it takes for you to create your parts and make sure your parts look better and more professional. And that has to do with the number of systems on each page. So I'm going to show you firstly how to do this by hand and secondly how to automate it with Keyboard Maestro to make sure that it happens very quickly. So the first thing you'll notice is that often on the last page of Finale there will be an uneven number of measures, okay? And by uneven, I mean just less than what was on before. And this is not the most ideal setup because we want it to look like the music has exactly taken up the space allowed. So we're going to come over here to the Page Layout tool. And we're going to be playing a lot with the space systems evenly. And this is a very simple tool to actually figure out what it's doing. So how it's set up is on all pages, I want to place exactly six systems on each page. And if it, we hit OK, well, look at that. On every single page, there's exactly six systems on every page. Except for the last one, where the last one, it always just takes the remainder. And it also spaces them evenly, so that way it goes straight from the top to the bottom. Now, what if we want to do something slightly... So now what if we want to do something slightly different in the Page Layout tool? We can do Space Systems Evenly. Let's do seven on each page go like that and as we can see now there's seven on each page the last page has six because that it just takes the remainder and so this is the tool that we're going to be playing a lot with and so there's a couple ways to go about this usually what I do is I first try to get the music on on the smallest size possible so I would go up here to page layout tool space systems evenly place the maximum number of systems on each page like that and you can see, actually, this is a fairly good layout for this. Because here we have six on the first, and we have seven on every other single one. And that's usually what I'll do to judge roughly how many pages the part is going to be. For clarity, let's just delete a couple of that, so that way there's odd measures. And then I would come over here and say, okay, there's 23 on four pages. That means I want roughly eight a page, right? So I'm going to come over here, space systems evenly. Wait, 23 on 4 pages. So that's roughly 6 a page. So I'm going to come over here and say 6 a page. And then we got 6 on every page except for the last page is 5. Now those are the simple ways I would do it by hand. And we just play around to get a better looking part. And once you get used to this, this process becomes really quickly. But as you'll notice, it's kind of a pain to continuously go over here to Page Layout Tool. Come up here to System Preferences, Base Systems Evenly. Choose all your options and settings and then hit OK. And I just want to speed it up such that I can just do a keystroke and it does exactly what I want. So for that, I'm going to use Keyboard Maestro. Now I talked about Keyboard Maestro a little bit in the past video. So this is basically just an application for Mac that will let you create macros to speed up processes a lot. So I'm going to show you a couple of my macros that I use for Keyboard Maestro. So let's come over here to Keyboard Maestro. And these are the four macros I use. So the first one is Space Systems Evenly Don't Change Count. Basically. Oh, let's just come up here to the page layout tool. Is, is let's say I come up here to the second page, and what was the keyboard shortcut F? It just tells it to space systems evenly without changing the number of systems on each page. And the next one is to space systems evenly. So what this does is whenever I press it, it'll automatically bring up the number of systems on each page. So I can just hit like a number eight, and then ta-da, and now there's eight on each page. And now I have another one called Space Systems Evenly Max. Uh, it's what we did before. You just Space Systems Evenly, and it does the maximum number on each page. And the final one, Space Systems Evenly on the page, right? So like if I go to a specific page, starting pages two, press the keystroke, and it'll automatically bring me, so let's say I want, I don't know, 10, this is gonna look really bad, but 10 systems on that page. And voila, there's 10 systems on that page. Those are the macros I use. Uh, you can either recreate them yourself, or you can download them at my website. Link is in the description. Just double click on it, install it, and it will, should open it up straight in Keyboard Maestro and you should be able to just get started right away with those macros. So that's the quick tip for today. If you found this at all helpful, make sure to like and subscribe so that you can stay up to date with all the Finale tips and tricks. And if you want other Keyboard Maestro macro videos, there is a playlist on the screen right now so you can click and watch it.